And welcome back to Alan's World Extra. Today we're looking at the long shot. I always get them wrong. There's two versions, long strike and long shot. Yeah, this is the long shot. The long strike is the new elite version. I'll just clear that up now so people don't get themselves confused. Yeah, so this is the long strike. It's the blue one, which is more like a sniper rifle. Um, like this. Like, but we're looking today at the long shot. So the long shot. Um, it's no longer made anymore. It's, it, um, it sort of went out of circulation quite a while ago. I can't remember exact dates on top of my head, but when you first bought it, it came with everything I've got here. So you've got this, you've got the rifle itself. You've got detachable sight. You've also got the detachable front section, which also has an individual sort of pistol on the side of it as well. It has a foot. It came with a six-round. Oh, comes a six round magazine with six darts and a collapsible stock onto there and a fold up bipod. So that is everything when you come into um, on there itself. So I'm going to go through how to test it and how to look at it ready for um, setting up for selling on eBay as we do as resellers or if you just want to know about it for yourself. So the first thing is when you get it everything sort of locks itself in place. So to put the front section on what you have to do, there's little, little you've got to marry them up, there's a little side onto there. You hold it to one side, yeah, at an angle, and then you twist it into place. It actually fires further without that actually on it, but you can get more money with it with the front section. For the sight, what it simply does is slides on. So the sight just slides on, nice and easy. As, as he says, it's nice and easy. You can't even do it in the first place. There we go. Yeah, it just slides on. And we can look through the sight and system and scope on there itself. It was on backwards just before I just did the video. That's why it looked a bit strange when I was looking at it. That's why I confused myself just then. And then to adjust the stock, what we have in the very back of it, a little button here. If we push the button over and we can slide it, it depends how big on the shoulders that we are. Yeah, so I need it fully out. And the magazine itself, um, with like most EC, uh, with most um, clip systems, yeah, it, 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 you know it says clip because it's got CS6. So uh, again, the CS is clip system, and six says six rounds it came with. So if you're not sure when you're picking Nerf blasters up, how many rounds, how many darts you should put, how big a magazine you should put, have a look at the CS symbol, and that will tell you. And it's just a CS6, so I've got a CS6 magazine just on here. To put it on, you need to make sure. It's actually cocked. So now, if I've got my magazine and I want to see if it works, you can see there I can't actually push it on. If I try and force it, I'm going to break something. So the way we do, the way we put them on, you need to cock it, hold it fully to the rear. You get your magazine. Oh, get your magazine. Check the top row and see it correctly, as mine wasn't. Yeah. Place it on the magazine housing, and then we cock. When, when we cock it, to slide it forwards. Now the first round is ready and chambered, ready to fire. For the front section, it's a single shot only. So all we need to do there is place the dart inside there and we cock it with the plunger on the front. Yeah. And then you've got the trigger just to push it on here. <clears throat> there is no safety catch or anything on this gun. So as soon as it's made ready, like it plays like both are now, squeeze the trigger, it's going to fire off. Simply all you need to do then, take an aim, have a look, and then you can fire on the front one or if I want the back one, Usually like a grenade sort of launches by simulating an angle and then off it goes, that will fire off as well. So that is a simple sort of thing as you can test for this gun to make sure it all works. You've also got the bipod for stability if you want to get down into a prone position and lay there and sniper on people. One thing to bear in mind as well is the handles, once they're placed on you can't take them off. If you try and take them off you're going to snap them. So uh, I have got a video coming out shortly how to fix them, a little temporary fix if you do snap them. Um, which I've just tested on the long strike and see if it works very shortly. So 
So that is on there. So while I'm going to do now, I'm now going to do my range tests because like I, I always like to make sure when I list them, I let people know how far they think they're actually firing. <coughs> I fire with the blue darts, which I get from China. I'll leave a link down below of where I get those things if you want to buy them for yourself. So I'm standing at 22 foot between me and the first lamppost. Between that is a tape measure and I'm on the floor to test it for the next distance. So I'm now going to fire. I've got five rounds left in this magazine. So I'm, I'm going to see how far it's firing, how short it's firing, and also the MPI, the mean point of impact, to give some idea of roughly the average shot. So let's have a first look then. Okay, so that's my five rounds. And then I'm going to get a single shot, just to see. I've already fired one already, so let's see where this one's going. Over there. Right, so let's have a quick look to see how far this thing's actually firing. So my fullest shot is around about the 20 foot mark. My average is about 20, 24 foot. My high shot is at 28 foot. Two foot. My, fullest, my lowest shot is at 40 foot. So, give you some idea of roughly what I've got to, to play with. I'm now going to list this now and are those things. So, prices for this um, in its condition with everything there and it fires well. I'm going to place it with 10 rounds. So, you've got four for the front and then you've got six for the magazine. I'm going to aim for the 30 pound mark, sort of on here. But I'm going to make this listing a little bit better for my one. I'm also going to add on a vest and I'm also going to add on um, a Maverick um, RV6, RV Santa for Revolver as well. I think it's just to add a little bit more detail because the sniper rifle we need a little bit extra support. So I'm going to bunk mine up to £42 with the vest and that sort of thing. But if you haven't got that, you're looking about £30, £32 for the whole blaster. Top end sort of on there itself. Hope you like this. If you do, click down the like button below. Let us know in your comments how you get on, roughly sort of prices you sell yours for. Now, thanks again. I'll see you later on for the next video. Bye for now.